Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Ghetto Agatha, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing video. And today, we're going to be unboxing this right here. Look at the slow motion for the dramatic effect. We're going to be unboxing the Galaxy Tab S9 FE Fan Edition 5 G. This one here has its own internet connection, 5G connection. I got this from Verizon when I switched over. They gave me a pretty, a really good price on it. So I said, why don't I go ahead and get it? It'd be the first tablet I've ever had that has internet connection added to it. But before we get to the Eagle Eye view, let's go ahead and get the price and specs out of the way. This right here will cost you $549.99 with the 5G um antennas on the inside if you just want the regular wi-fi version to go for 449 dollars and 99 cents about a hundred dollars cheaper but right now it's on sale on amazon for 349 dollars and 99 cents let's get to the specs real quick get those things out the way i'm not gonna go through all of them just go through some of them this right here um, has an IPS LCD and is only running at 90 hertz. So, um, the Samsung um, Tab S7 that I have runs at 120 hertz. That's also an LCD panel. Also, um, this one is um, one um, 1440 by 2304 um, pixel at a 16. Uh, 16 by 10 uh, aspect ratio, which is 249 pencil pixels. I said pencil pixels per inch density. Comes with Android 13, upgradable to Android 14, uh, one UI 6. It has instead of having a Snapdragon processor, it has an Exynos um, one um, 1000 uh, 1380. Um, that is the the processor number five five nanometers. As a um, GPU is an octa core um, setup as well. So this does come with a twelve megapixel ultra wide uh, uh, selfie camera. The back camera, the main camera, will be eight megapixel wide, eight megapixel wide, four K thirty frames per second, and ten eighty p thirty frames per second as well um you can do video on the back and front it has loudspeakers with stereo speakers no 3.5 um headphone jack does come with wi-fi wi-fi 8 i mean wi-fi 802 11 uh what else does it come fingerprint sensor side mounted and it has an 8,000 milliamp hour battery, non-removable charger, 45 watt wired. This is the gray variant. And let's see anything else that I'm missing that you probably would know. Um, glass front, back, um, back aluminum, uh, frame is aluminum. Um, it is um, 128 gigs, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, this one is 128 gigs. Is this 128 gigs? I think this is 128 gigs. Let me make sure, guys. This is, uh, yeah, 128 gigs. And this is the great variant, like I said. It um, is IP68 um, dust and water resistant up to 1.5 meter for 30 second. And this is 10.9 inches. And it does come with an S. These um, so you can expand the memory. So that's all I have on this. So why don't we just go ahead and get to the Eagle Live view? But before we get to the Eagle Live view, please do me a favor. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me say that one more time. Please like, share, and subscribe so we can grow this unboxing community. So let's head to the Galaxy Eagle Eye view. We're in the Eagle Eye view. This is how the unboxing. That's how the box look. Pretty decent. So let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Very minimalistic. Don't need an unboxing knife because you can pull these tabs right here. Okay. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna do we're gonna take this out first put that to the side comes with the s pen 
but this is not a chargeable X Pen. This is just a regular X Pen. This doesn't come with the, all the Bluetooth features. So that's not with this one, S Pen. And this up, what do we have in here? We have USB C to USB C. So we have that. Now, this doesn't come with a wall charger. We don't do that no more. Okay, we got the SIM ejection tool here. We have the books and stuff. So we don't throw them away, we just file them. We already know this is 45 watt compatible charging, so that's hard fast charging. And that's it with this right here. See anything else? Nope, that's it. So let's go ahead and move this out the way. Let's get to the main right here. I'm trying not to. Oh, let's do this. Okay, well, okay. There you go. There we go. Ah, there we go. That's how it looks, guys. So, this is how it looks. This is the gray variant. See, it's very, very, very thin. Take that off right now. Very, very thin. Two by eight. You see? Mm hmm I think that will be the microphone there. On the back we have pens that for the docking. Let's see if we can get this off. I can get this off. On this side you have SIM. Where the SIM goes and now this only comes with two speakers, so you can see that. So you have speaker here. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to do this right. Speaker here. I guess that's another microphone sim. Let's go ahead and eject that real quick. All right, it comes out. Okay, so we have the 5G in here, and we have also the, the expandable memory slot. Okay, that's on that side. And then on the other side, we have the charging port. We have another speaker. And on the top, we have some more. I'm guessing these are microphones. And then we have the fingerprint sensor. We have the on and off fingerprint sensor. And then we also have the volume up and down. Okay, that's about it. So let's go ahead and turn it on, see how it looks before we get to the charging and everything. So it's preparing my tablet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and stop it right here. Let's get everything loaded up and we'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back and it's all set up and hooked up. You can see this is how the screen looks right here. So we're going to go ahead and test the fingerprint scan, see how fast it is. That's pretty fast. See all the apps. Now this is only 120, I mean, I mean 90 hertz. So you know, which is still pretty decent. So let's try this, the fingerprint scanner again. See, then you can put in your code. So let's go ahead and do that again. It's pretty fast. So why don't we go ahead and listen to some, um, go to one of my videos and listen to some, look at and listen to some videos. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Try it again. Turn it up a little bit. Hour to get everything done when my daughter's phone came in the mail to 
get her to where she needed to be at. So I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna put a link below um, for the specs and stuff, so you can see what the specs is. But it's just a regular iPhone. So bear with it. I tried to make a fast video, as fast as I could make. And, and so that's not pretty. That's that's pretty good, guys. Now this is going to be your mid range. Um, tablet this is not the fe stands for fan edition which brings some of the features from the ultra and the um the, the big brother ultra down um the features into an affordable tablet so this is that affordable tablet which was run you like i said right now it's on sale for three something so i think this the, the middle child this is the middle child because you have the tab um just a regular tab the the the, I'm not, I, I don't want to say bottom of the barrel, but you have the less expensive one. And then this is the middle child, the FE. Then you have the the Ultra. Now, you do have a plus variant of that, of this one right here that I didn't get. I, you know, um, they didn't have it at Verizon. So I did just get the FE. This is the 10.9. Um, they do have 11 point, I think 11 inch, 11 inch one. That's the plus, the FE, um, the S9 plus f i mean fe plus i don't know why i'm getting tongue-tied so as you can look you know it sounds pretty good um you, you have you have your pins here on the bottom of it tuned by akg you have one now one thing about the other ones like the the bigger brothers they come with quad speakers so let me show you that these are one is the s7 and one is the s9 and by the looks up, by the way I got it faced out, you can't tell which one is which. You can't tell which one is which. Even if I turn it, well, you know, if I turn it up this way, I'm trying to almost slip out. You still won't be able to tell which one is which. Now, the darker color one is the Galaxy S7. This is the Galaxy S9, but you can't tell. They kept it in the same four factor. Now, the Galaxy S7. I had for about three years now came, you know, came out in, I think, 2020, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it's it's a good tablet. Now, one thing about this, the S Pen for the S7 comes with a, it's Bluetooth. It's not just a regular S Pen. So you get more functionality out of the X Pen. You can see how this one has two cameras on the back and this one only has one. And the other thing also, you see it has, the S7 has four speakers instead of two. So you when you when you when you just get the 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 get the one without the fan edition, the ones that are not fan edition, you get a better set of speakers. And that don't get me wrong, the S the S7 sounds good. It's a good tablet. Um three years old and it's still it's a good tablet, and S7 is going for about one oh six. I mean, no, three hundred and six dollars right now. If you can find the S, um, the S7, um, again, this is not even the Ultra. This is just the S7, which the S7 didn't come with an AMOLED screen. It came with a, um, it came with an LCD screen, just like this one comes with LCD screen. So you can see they're similar, even in the back, they're similar. The only thing that's the S7 has this right here. Which you know, but you can still put your other pen here. It still sticks, so you have each one that's able. To, it's still able to do most of the stuff that the S7 is. You got S7 can do. Sorry, the S7 can do, but you gotta realize the S9 um, has. Even though this is an Exynos processor and this is a uh, this is a, a um, Snapdragon processor, this is a, a a fairly brand new processor here, where this is like a three year old processor. So you might get better a little better performance in the brand new one um, in the S9 than the S7. But if you can find the S7, you can really get that or find the S8 at a good price. That would be a good buy too. So let's get back to this right here. So this is pretty good. It sounds pretty good. I looked at some videos. It's pretty good. Um, but this, like I said, this is the middle child. This isn't going to be the greatest, but it's not the worst. It's that, it's that middle is that middle device that when you don't have a lot of money to spend and you can find the S9, you know, or the S9 plus FE fan edition on sale, this will be a good, good tablet. Um, if you if you have an old tab, this is probably comparable to the iPhone, um, 
iPhone, the iPad, sorry, iPad 10th generation. So that's about it. Hold, let's get to the charging so you can see how it looks when it charges before we go. So we have this here, which is hooked up. There you go. And it'll tell you fast charge. Let's do that one more time. Fast charging. And let's look at this real quick. See, this is the how how it can get very low. And then it can also, so the, the brightness is pretty, is pretty good. Um, so that's how it looks with the charge. We're gonna charge it up with one of the battery packs, like I normally do. So to show you that as well. We're gonna use the the wires that came with it. There you go. And it's fast charging as well. Let's do that one more time. There you go. So why don't we just get to the regular view, give my last thoughts, give this puppy a grade. Yo, 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 I'm back guys to give the Galaxy Tab S Fan Edition, not the plus the regular, my final thoughts and giving this puppy a grade. I do like it guys. Now, to me, if you already have the S7, and it's in good condition, nothing's wrong with it, don't upgrade. If you have the the S8, even the regular one, don't upgrade. Let's say it like this. Any tablet that you've bought in the last couple of years, you don't need to upgrade. Um, now, right now, Apple is killing it in the tablet game. Gotta tell the truth. Apple's killing it. I think second place would be Samsung. Then you have your likes of Google, Pixel, I guess they have a tablet. You have Oppo got a tablet. You got you got even the um, Lenovo has a tablet, and all these tablets are pretty good. They're not uh, to me as I look at look them up and look at them. Look people you you know look at look at oh my can talk look at people use them on videos. I say they are just as good as Samsung um, or even Apple at some things, but Apple reigns king over the tablet market. So, I mean, you still got some offerings overseas that I don't know the names of that are really big sellers overseas, but in the States, man, you even get Samsung, I mean, Apple or Samsung. And I think this is a good, strong offering for Samsung. It's not gonna break your pocket. You find it on sale three, three, I think it's 349 right now, just for the Wi-Fi version. You know, you're gonna play a little bit more if you wanna get with the um, 5G, um, antennas on the inside, you're going to get that, you know, you're going to pay about $100 more. But if you don't need that, $349 is not bad for a tablet that's going to give you some of the features that the Ultra has. You know, you got the fingerprint scanner uh, on the side. You also have the, you know, you got the, the pen that comes with it, you know, um, comes with some of the, and this IPX, I say six, I mean, IPX, Six eight, I think sixty eight water dust resistant. IPS six eight, I think it is. Um, waterproof, water dust resistant. So I will say this is a good tablet. It's not the best tablet, but again, this is mid range tablet with mid range specs. So this is good if you're on a budget. This is a good tablet if you don't want to spend a lot of money on the tablet. You just need something for a media consumption. Um, now you're not going to be able to do no video editing on here or no, you know, no photo editing on here, you know, using Adobe and stuff like that. I mean, it probably can do it, but a struggle. So if you're just looking at it for something to be able to take notes, you know, do video calling and do some, you know, do some things, this is perfect for you. So I want to give this puppy to me as a, you know, it does what it's supposed to do. And, you know, like I said, I'm not into the tablet game. I've had my uh, Samsung tablet for three years. I have my um, Surface tablet before I got the new one for many years. So I'm not really into the tablet game. I do just get them. I got this one because that's 5G and it was, you know, at a good deal. So when you get a good deal, you know, you want to take advantage of that good deal. Sorry, guys, it's hot down. It's hot, not down, but it's hot in, in my office. So I would say um, this is a good deal um, for $340, $349, good deal. If you can catch it cheaper than that, 
Good deal. Now, if you can get the S7 or the S8, even the Ultra variants, cheaper, go for it. You're never going to be, you know, be able to beat out an Ultra because the Ultra comes and order the one just below the Ultra comes with, you know, AMOLED screen. I mean, the Ultra comes with AMOLED screen, comes with all the features all the features but like i said a lot of people you're not going to use all those features we have to kind of be if you want to save money and you don't need all those features this right here for most of us we don't need all those features and to be honest i did get a chance to use the s pen um for normally what i use it for and it works just right works just grass it's just right works just great um you know with the ultra version you get the bluetooth you get the bluetooth s pen really you don't need the bluetooth s pen because normally you use it on your phone to take pictures and to do other things with it you know i guess if you want to do it that way but for me the bluetooth i mean the s pen not bluetooth but the regular s pen works just fine so don't let that be a determining factor of whether you get it unless you're an artist and you like those bluetooth functionalities i can understand why but it's just something you want to sketch or something just doing the Bluetooth for the fan edition works. I mean, the S Pen for the fan edition works just fine. Hey guys, do me a favor. Please like, share, and subscribe. Let me say it again. Please like, share, and subscribe. And guess what, guys? Thumbs up really help us because it really gets deeper. It gets us deeper into the YouTube algorithm so more people can, you know, see the video, see the content. Yet again, this is your boy, V. Ghetto Aga for AKA Pastor Tech. Thanking you for rocking out with me on another unboxing journey. Guys, we got some more unboxings coming soon. So please hit the notification um, bell, the icon bell to notify you anytime that we drop a new video. So you have a good day and I'll see you soon.